Staying on the Lights Global Institute. Welcome to this episode where we will talk to you about elevation. This is the year where I believe if you allow it to happen, you can elevate into becoming the best version of yourself. And one of the ways that you can elevate is to really take full responsibility for your own growth. You know, I remember when I was just, I think I was 21, and I had just walked into a bookstore and I saw that there was a category called self-help. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is self-help? And I began to pull out these books that really spoke to me because I had never read books that really told me, you know what, you can make the change that you need. You can look and allocate the resources that you need to get to a new level. And then I became hooked to self-help resources because there's something special about realizing that you do not have to be a victim to your circumstance or your experience. So today, I want to welcome you to watch this episode as we talk about how you can take full responsibility and upgrade your life. Now, I hope you enjoyed the prior two episodes, but if you missed it, make sure you click on the links below so you can catch and watch all of the prior episodes. But if you don't know who, my, who I am, my name is Dr. Alana DeGrasa. I'm the president of Turning on the Lights Global Institute, and I'm so glad that you're tuned in. 2022 is the year that we are launching leaders. I believe that people can reach their personal and professional goals. But I also believe that there are resources and tools and processes that we must go through in order to get there. So today we're talking about how you can elevate. And part of that is taking that responsibility, saying to yourself, you know what? Yes, these particular things happened in my past. Now, for many, many years, I was a communications professor, and one of the things that we used to do was to do an analysis of all of our students coming in. We asked them to tell us their most poignant experiences as young people, and then to tell us about their most um, uh, disappointing experiences. And what we found is that many of those students realized how those experiences impacted how they communicated, whether they felt like they were confident in a given area or whether they felt like they didn't have any confidence in a, a given area, they were able to look back to moments where people they looked up to really disaffirm them. And when we look to our experiences, even psychologically, we realize and recognize that we have to pay attention to maybe some patterns and conditioning of how we actually think and how they were influenced. So I want you to give yourself permission to wipe the slate clean. Now, I remember, uh, I want to say five years ago, right when Tolji was first forming, we went and gave a special presentation and we spoke to a group of women and I was telling them that sometimes, as my point in my last episode stated, that sometimes we need to leave comfortable environments to, to realize who we can become. And there was a woman who walked in who had literally just been given the notice that she would no longer be able to work at her job. So she was feeling frazzled as a mom, single mom at that. And she walked into a workshop, had no idea that I was teaching it. And at the end of that, she just said to myself, she just said to me, I'm so glad I came because, you know, I just lost my job and you're telling me that I can still become this teacher that I've always wanted to become. So to make a very long story short, she actually signed up to be a part of one of our programs. And within a two and a half year period, she was able to finally become a kindergarten teacher. And that was something she was hoping for for years. It was difficult, it was tough. Of course, she had to invest in her, in finance, in her finances to be able to do it. But she looks back at that time and says, wow, you know, thank you so much for cr creating a space where I can finally recognize that I can do something different. And I wanna give you that opportunity to know you can give yourself permission to just pause and allow yourself to know that your change, the thing that you really want to do is possible. But sometimes when we drive down the same roads every day, we do the same routine every day, we talk to the same people every day, and we do it for year and day upon day, sometimes it's hard to really think 
that our changes are possible. But I want you to know that your change is absolutely possible. You just truly have to believe that what you are striving for is not circumstantial. So what do I mean by that? A lot of times when people start to do a new thing and they recognize they may need more resources to help them to get to where they need to, they sometimes will just freeze and they'll just say, I can't do that. You know, if I need to add this particular thing to my goal, if I need to get coaching, if I need to, to you know, purchase a new product or learn about this new software or do this new thing, that's just gonna be too much. I can't do it, but you can't afford not to do it. You can't afford not to invest in yourself at this stage, especially when you are striving to do something new. So today I wanna challenge you to think differently. I wanna challenge you to open up yourself and recognize if you don't do something different this year in 2022, how do you expect to see the results that you are hoping for? If you keep doing what you've been doing, what do you think you'll have this time next year? So if you haven't done so already, please join my IWBCC community on Facebook. Make sure if you would like to have us assess what you're doing in terms of leadership or business, that you send us an email at subscriber at drlanadegrasso.com. And lastly, that you attend our Upgrade My Life and Biz Challenge. That's it for me. 